Hi, business is really kicking off. So I'm hiding in the forest. <laughs> it's just been manic. So I've got um, lots of obviously still tons of editing to do from the retreats, which I'm really enjoying. Um, and I've got a lady who's writing a story. She's writing her first book and she's asked me to coach her, which is amazing. What a lovely opportunity. And then I've got um, a lady who wants to send her young daughter over to do some voluntary work with me because she wants her to be in a positive environment. And, um, you know, I think that youngsters nowadays at school and college are just under so much mental pressure that it gets too much. And so she wants something positive for her to do. So she wants her to come over. So all this stuff going on is creating so much mind activity you know my mind's just going woo how can I help how can I help her and how can I help them and and but all the while still trying to um create these photographs from the retreat and and keep up with the editing and keep up with being in contact with so many different people um, all really excited they want to see their pictures and I'm like editing at 100 miles an hour trying to get it all done but do you get to the point do you guys find this do you get to the point with the editing where you can't it's like you're screened out you just you can't do any more and you're you find yourself rushing it and and that's a shame when that happens because the editing can be a really enjoyable experience and this is what I want to share with you like I feel like um, pacing ourselves is really important because we don't want to lose that enjoyment of the editing by feeling like we've got to do it all all at once you know and I do feel like that I, th I keep thinking if I can just get this editing finished I'll have a clear mind if I can just tick it off just just tick it off and know that it's done and everyone's got their pictures I have a clear mind but I also know that I'm kind of only halfway through it I've still got another 2,000 pictures to go through so it's not going to be a quick fix and that's where I think it's really important to take regular breaks out in nature and just feel into that spaciousness of nature it's so, it's so good for letting go of like a rushed, scattered mind. And um, also, I think I keep getting the feeling a change is as good as a rest. So you can still be productive if you find you have that editing head, like that editing headache, but you want to keep being productive because you know you've got so much to do. There's so much to do. So you can just change and do something different but still be productive so for example when I get to the point where I can't do any more editing and I'm feeling um you know overwhelmed with it I will go do a load of housework or exercise or something else that I'm still being productive cooking I'm still getting stuff done and taking the load off the list of needs to be done but I'm not doing all the same thing and getting exhausted in my mind or my um, like my energy, my psyche. Um, and I think being on a computer for long periods of time can can really do that, can't it? it? Can make you feel like tired, but not in a nice way tired. So um, yeah, it's funny because my mind keeps saying you need to edit, you need to edit, you need to get this finished, and my soul is saying you need to walk in nature you need to paint when you listen to your soul you end up being twice as productive even though it feels like you're not doing anything because when you come back to your work you are back in flow and when you're in flow time disappears everything seems effortless you get so much done unbelievably productive but when you force yourself when you're exhausted you're, you come out of the flow and then you're less productive anyway. So take a break in nature and go back refreshed. My paint's out. I actually don't have any canvases, so there's only one thing for it, isn't there?
paint the car. Paint. You need to just do something, something else, something different, something creative as like a bit of a download of this um, rushed feeling, you know, where you can't relax. You can't, you're sort of tired but wired, that feeling. I think that a lot of that comes from being on the screen for long periods of time. And my son said something to me this morning as I was giving him a lift into town. He said, I've got an idea for you. It's really spooky this, right? Because um, I was thinking this morning, I just kind of want to go, I want to be in town. I want to maybe get a coffee, but I didn't have a reason to. So um, it's really funny. Like I felt like I needed a reason to go do that. And Josh says to me as we're going out the door, go sit in a cafe and write. And I was like, yes. I don't know why I need a purpose, a reason to go sit in a cafe. Why can't I just go sit in a cafe? But I needed one. And he gave it to me. So I went rushing back inside, got my book that I write my short stories and poetry in. And I went and sat in town in this lovely cafe. I sat outside in the end, actually, because it was, like, really, really noisy indoors. And I just wrote a poem, and it just kind of really, in a nutshell, says how I'm feeling. And I just... I always like to share how I'm feeling, because I feel like there there will be other people feeling the same. So I hope this inspires somebody, at least. <sighs> Busy, rushing, scattered mind, body tired, can't unwind... Excited, buzzing, not all bad, working now, I am glad. Finding balance, feeling late, stopping now, can't concentrate. Out in nature, finding peace, rushing mind, I release. Going back, all refreshed. With some headspace, I give my best. That kind of sums it up, really. I think I need to sit in the forest, obviously switch off my phone, and um, just feel that spaciousness of the trees the trees have such a strong message for us don't they they sit unwavering in stillness complete stillness they're blown around by the winds the winds of change the chaotic storms of life but they still sit stillness their roots are deep you know grounded So that is what I'm going to focus on and connect to. And is there anything else I need to say? I think that the um, when I come to editing St. Necton's Glen, which is the all the pictures of everybody in the waterfall, oh my goodness, I feel like I'll connect to that energy of nature while I'm going through those photos and I think it's actually a really magical process but when you've got the social media and contact and it's like information coming at you information overload so um, that's what I'm going to release I'm going to release overthinking information overload I'm going to get my energy back and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to smash out the next lot of editing and I'm going to enjoy it with a green tea. <laughs>